Hi guys, so I wanted to do a quick video on um, some tips for ER nurses when giving report to ICU nurses. I actually had an ER nurse reach out to me about this topic because she said, you know, she gives report to ICU nurses all the time, yet they always seem very upset or rude or disappointed over the phone when the ER nurse may not know something. And so I thought that this was a very good topic to talk about. And I also feel like I have kind of a unique perception on this because I've worked in the ER before and I've worked in the ICU. So first of all, this isn't a video to um, prove that ICU is better or prove that ER is better because both specialties are 100% totally needed and prove that they are specialized in what they do and wonderful nurses. So personally, when I know I'm getting a patient from the ER, if I'm able to look them up or not, whatever. I am not one to ever ever turn down report because the room isn't ready or you know I, I'm too busy in my other patient's room because I feel like that's a silly reason if unless like there's like four codes going on once and like you just can't possibly have the resources to bring them up um, that's different but most of the time even if I'm a little busy I can you know call my resource nurse or whatever to come and help me or the manager can come help me charge nurse yada yada. So I am always open to receiving a report right away and I think that's an important quality to have. It also makes the ER nurses happy when you can get report right away because they've been having this unstable patient. And um, ER nurses are great at you know triaging, prioritizing, prioritizing and stabilizing patients, but ultimately ICU nurses are great at kind of this multi-system look at things and it's important that if a patient's truly an ICU patient in the ER that they get to the ICU because that's where they're going to get the full care that they need because ER you're fixing the immediate problems and you're sending them up. So as an ICU nurse when I get report from an ER nurse I you know, I don't really care. <laughs> I mean, I care what you tell me. I don't really care if you know exactly every little detail because if you've charted things and if you've scanned your medications and drawn labs, like I can get most of the information that I need from the chart. Honestly, I rarely ever would need report from an ER nurse, but it is kind of a formality and it's nice to have a heads up like, hey, you know, the patient does have a family member that's really angry over this, or hey, you know, the patient doesn't have any family. It's nice to have kind of the social aspect of report. And that's kind of more so what I look for is like, hey, do you know if they came in with advanced directives? Do you know, you know, any of that? Just so that I have a heads up for when they get there, if they code right off the bat, do you know, do we know if they're full code? Do we know if they're a DNR, yada, yada? Do they have family there so we can grab them? get information, yada yada. I don't really care as much about you know where your IV lines are or if you have a Foley, but most ICU nurses do care, so I feel like I'm actually a really bad person to um, get give advice on this topic. Um, but I think also, like as an ER nurse, you just have... I don't know why ICU nurses get so angry towards ER nurses, because it kind of makes me sad, but um, you kind of just have to just give your normal report and if they get upset and you don't know something, you just say, I don't know, I'm sorry, you know, and I'll bring the patient up to you, basically. I don't say it's not your job to know every little detail about that patient. Like, as the ICU nurse, we know every little detail about that patient, and um, because that's part of our job, whereas in the ER, you are telling me the pertinent information as far as what you did, what you diagnosed with, scans and tests that you ran. That's kind of what I like to hear, is just, you know, what did you do, what events happened in the ER, are they intubated? Are they blind? Well, yada yada, and just get them up there. So at least I have a basic idea of what's already been done down in the ER, and then I can continue that up in the ICU. Uh, but as long as someone's charting correctly and they scan their meds and all that, then it should be pretty easy to find that information yourself. So I don't know why ICU nurses get mad if they can't tell you if it's a 20 gauge in their left AC or an 18 gauge. Like, not a big deal to me. <laughs> Now that I've just rambled on and haven't really given tips, my tips are um, just give the current events, list of events that happened in the ER from the time they came in, kind of their background story, basic information, you know, any pertinent labs or tests that you ran, medications that you administered or blood products that you started, that's kind of what I like to know. Um, and then kind of the social aspect of things, do they have family? Um, I always ask 
you know, have you seen any skin issues? And personally, I know some ER nurses get mad when you ask that, but it's really just because we get, we have to do a full body skin assessment when the patient gets up to the ICU. And so it's kind of nice to have a heads up if like, hey, they've got a stage four pressure ulcer on their bottom. Like, that's kind of nice to know. Um, but I don't get mad at an, IC, or an ER nurse if they don't know that information because honestly, if they're coming in for respiratory distress, you're going to intubate them and, you know, get them stabilized. You're not going to be like, oh, let me look at your bottom to make sure you don't have a stage four pressure, pressure ulcer. Like that's more so of an ICU nurse's role, at least from where I'm at and what I do. That's how it goes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have any other tips for ER nurses or ICU nurses, it goes both ways. Honestly, we're all in one big team. We all should be collaborative and respectful of one another's roles and that we're all nurses and we should support one another and not degrade each other and bring each other down. Um, but if you have any other tips, leave them in the comments below and I'll see you in my next video.